the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good afternoon. Welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're on Masechah Pesachim, Perek Dalit, Mishnah is based in Gimel. Mishnah base states, "Kayotze ba Amolch Peros Shvius Makom Shakalu Lo Makom Shalakalu." We're talking about Minagam Makom. Minagam Makom, as I've stated before, is really Midar Abanan, a Minag. Because of if you're Makmir in that Makom for something the Torah doesn't state, it has the status of Ayachal Dvar. If I take a Chumra upon myself. I usually have to matter another midr abana. We'll talk about this today and even mitzvah on exactly what types of things are considered a dvar mitzvah. That baliyachal it's considered something that's binding. Is it always binding? I just wake up one morning and say I have to jump up and down a hundred times before I go to shul. Is that a minute that's binding? I have to matter another. No, I'll tell you why certain things yes, certain things not. We just had shvius last year. So Eretz Yisrael is divided into three different parts. So <clears throat> the halacha is that whatever part of Israel you live in, so once that fruit, that type of fruit, is no longer available to animals in the field, the Gemara Darshans, then you have whatever you had of that type of fruit, you have to mavir. There's a certain time in the middle of your Shviyas, so you have to get rid of it, either burn it or be mafkir it, make it ownerless. So you're going from a place, there's three, there's three, there's the Galil, the northern part of Israel. There's uh, Yehuda, um, which is sort of central Israel. And then um, Evera Yardin, which is, you know, Transjordan area. So you have three areas in Eretz Israel. So if you're, like, say, in the Galil, um, and you're going, and it, the fruit, that type of fruit is no longer available to the, to the animals in the field, then you go to Yehuda where it is available. The opposite, Chayev Levar, like we give, like we said, we give you the, the Chumras of the Makom Shiyatam Isham, the Makom that you're going to. Right? The Makom that Yatam Isham because of Bayachal Dvar, the Makom that you're going to because of Machlokas. You don't want to be make with other people of Machmir. Rabbi Yudah says here, is a different Machlokas, it's not related to the first part of the Mishnah. They're talking about a case where, for some reason, I have, I picking I'm pickling vegetables from three different parts of Eretz Yisrael together, from Transjordan, from Yehuda, and from Galil together. In two places, the vegetables are not available in, to animals in the field, but the vegetable from the third place it is. So according to Tanakama, right, since one place it is available, so therefore the other two are mutaris, you can eat them, you don't have to be mafka them. According to Rabbi Yehuda, no, Rabbi Yehuda says, if you would go to those places... They're kalu, so therefore you can only eat the vegetable, even though they're pickled together, you can only eat the vegetable that comes from a place where it's not it's not finished. We paskin like Rabbi Yehuda, because Rabbi Yehuda in, in Mesech Shviya says like that. Gimel, makum shenagu limkor behem adaka lagoyim. We're going to see this in Isser, to sell a behem agasa. You can't sell an animal, a big animal, like a cow or a horse or a donkey. You can't sell that to a non-Jew. The reason is... Because we're kosher, if you sell it, you might come to rent it. And when you rent it, you might rent it on Shabbos. And when you rent something, it really belongs to you. And your malacha can't do, your animal can't do malacha on Shabbos. What about behemoth daka, a goat, a sheep? These animals don't do work. Are you allowed to sell it to a goyim? So there's makom, some, some makom is from machmer, some weren't. So makom shenagu limkar behemoth daka goyim mochren. In the place where they are allowed, you're allowed to do it. Makom shenagu shal limkar ain mochren. It's an Isser, Bayachal Bar, Ovachol Makom Ein Mokhal Lehem Beim Agaza. However, the Rabban and Ragozer, you can't sell a big animal, a Golem Sayacham, even if they're infants, even if they're calves, right? Not, they're not cows ready to work yet, or Sayacham, or young fowls, I think they're called, young donkeys, they're not yet ready to work. Nonetheless, they'll grow up, they'll be able to work. Shleimim Ushfurin, whether they're whole, or even if they're broken bones and they can't work. Because if you allow broken bones, you'll come to, you'll come to sell them ones that do work. This has one with broken bones, it's not going to work. We're not going to be goes there. We don't pass on Rehuda. Misera Matir of Asus. Misera allows you Asus. The reason Asus is not used normally for pulling things from a laka is usually used, to, usually used to ride on. And when you ride on something, you're not doing malacha because the Gemara says in Misaka Shabbos, Chai no se right? It's not called carrying a person. It carries loads. It can carry packages. That will be a malacha. But to carry a person, a person is carried by himself, the Gemara says. It's, not, it's only Darabonah. So therefore, there's no reason to be goes there by a sus. We don't pass like a Maseiro or Rabbi Yehuda, a sus or a broken animal or a young animal. They're all us there as long as they're behemagasa. 
Beimadaka, it depends on the place. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the year, <clears throat> what type of things are binding as a minhag? These the, min, the Mishnah has mentioned certain certain minhagim, which are binding. Do we say any chumra that you take upon yourself is binding? It's by, the Gemara says baliyachal bar. It's binding. I'll speak about which which minhagim are binding and which are not. Iam coming up next.